In this section, we're going to be looking at modulus functions. So, for example, y is equal to mod of x. Now, we use these straight line brackets, if you will, to refer to the modulus of x. They're also known as the absolute value of x. So, in books or in uh, computer programming, um, it can also be written as ABS of x. So, the absolute value of x. Now, what it does is it is a function that for any number that goes into this function, it will make it positive, regardless of whether the number going in was positive or negative. So, for example, if you found the modulus of the number 3, well, 3 is already positive, and so it would shoot out just 3. If you were looking at the modulus of minus 4, well, that would just be 4. Okay, so it gets rid of the negative. Subsequently, if you looked at this graph of y is equal to mod x, then it would look very much like y is equal to x. Okay? But what happens when x becomes negative is that you would get mod of minus 1 is 1, and mod of minus 2 is 2, and mod of minus 10 is 10. And so actually, the graph doesn't look like that below the x-axis, it looks like this. And so this is a sketch of y is equal to mod x. It has this v-shape. Okay? And what it's, what's happening is that because the modular sign is around the whole thing, it is making sure that the graph doesn't go, up, doesn't go below the x-axis. So if the modulus signs are around an entire function, that graph can then not go below the x-axis. That doesn't necessarily mean that all graphs with a modulus in them can't go below the x-axis. And we'll see examples of this in the next video.